Hi everyone, welcome back, hope you're all well. In today's video, we have another PS5, which has a no power issue. So, as I say, when you connect the power to this PS5, it does absolutely nothing. Now, this one was reported that it has had an HDMI port replacement and it worked a while after that HDMI port replacement, but then it just all of a sudden stopped working. So the issue might be related to the HDMI port or not. So if it's worked for a while after the HDMI port replacement, likely nothing to do with the actual replacement itself, and it's completely, totally unrelated fault. But let's get to the top casing off and then we can have a proper look into it and see what's going on on the motherboard. Right, so with the casing removed, let's pop our multimeter up on the screen and do our usual. Let's connect some power and just buzz around the board. Um, as you can see, as I said, the HDMI port has been previously replaced. Uh, so we need to take a look at that. Let's get the lead sorted out. Let's pop in ground here and we're gonna go First of all, to this top transistor, see if we've got any voltage on that top leg. It should be five volts. Yes, it is. Third transistor down, top leg, should be 3.3. Yes, it is. Uh, over here, either side of F7002, uh, should be five volts. Yep, that side. Oh, but we've got no voltage the other side. So F7002 is definitely blown because there's no five voltage, five volts on the other side of that fuse. So we need to check that out. Let's just check down here to see if we've got 3.3. Yes, we do. Okay, I'm not going to buzz around the board anymore because that is obviously got an issue there that we need to sort out with that fuse to see why that fuse is blown. Um, Let's just unplug that for a minute. Let's have a quick look at this HDMI port. Uh, see if we can zoom you in a little bit. There we go. That doesn't look soldered completely, if I'm honest. These legs look loose. Oh, there you go. Look, you can see the port actually moving. Right, so we need to fix that HDMI port. All right, even more reason not to go adding more power to it. Let's. Uh, Let's get the motherboard taken out and take a closer look at the other side. Right, so here we are with the motherboard out and there's a couple of obvious things that jump out, right? First of all, HDMI port, you can see that's hardly connected. I think some of the pads are connected, um, but we need to be careful of that. Biggest one here is what do you notice about different about that? Number one, there's no liquid metal. Someone's just put some standard thermal paste on there and they've removed the foam padding from around the APU. I do hope that they haven't actually spilt any of the liquid metal underneath this plastic coating or sticker, um, but we can check that out shortly. Uh, but first things first, I think what we need to do is we will get the HDMI port replaced. We'll replace that fuse on the other side um, but let's just quickly put our meter in continuity mode actually and just buzz around and see if we can find any shorts around the board. Now there might be because of that HDMI port, right? You might get shorts all over the place and that fuse might be blown for a number of reasons, right? It could be blown because there's a short on the board. It could be game over, right? It could be that there's too much liquid metal that's been uh, spilt underneath uh, round about the APU. Uh, but let's just quickly just buzz around here just to see if we've got any shorts. So this is power for USB, so there's no shorts there. There's no shorts on this circuit here. 
which is good. Shorts around here. No, no shorts. No shorts on that power rail. No shorts as we expect on the five volt power rail. Let's just check these other fuses up here. So F5401. That looks good. F5402. That looks good. F5, uh, F7003. That's good. F5. Sorry, F7502, which is just down here as well. That's good. So those fuses there look good. And so there's no other shorts. What I'm going to do, right, because we need to do it, I'm going, going to uh, get the HDMI port replaced, get that fuse replaced, and then actually do a bit more diagnostics on the actual motherboard. Um, and then we'll have a quick look uh, here under the microscope as well. Right, so here we are under the microscope and you can see the HDMI port there uh, and what has been attempted to replace. Let's, I don't actually think there's any solder on it whatsoever. I'll just give that a bit of a wiggle. There's a tiny little bit of solder on one of the legs, but from the actual pads, there's actually nothing holding or connecting to the pads. All right, so that just came off without any heat whatsoever. Okay, so we'll put a new HDMI port on there. There's a couple of the components which are missing as well around there. So there's a diode missing, one of the caps missing. So a quick look at the retimer, HDMI retimer IC. That looks original. Just searching around the board. South bridge looks original. There's a bit of dirt there, but that looks original, I believe. Looking at it, SSD controller, that's original. I think everything else looks okay. Obviously, apart from here. So I'm just trying to get you in focus a little bit. So here is the APU. And as I say, this has had all the liquid metal removed and just standard thermal paste installed. That will never work uh, on a PS5. You always need liquid metal because basically Sony really overclocked the processor and it needs cooling. By the looks of it, this is still sealed, which is good. All right, so that hasn't been split. So I'm not actually gonna peel that back. What I am gonna do is remove all of this thermal paste and then install some proper, proper liquid metal. As I say, then what I'll do, I will replace uh, F7002, we'll replace that fuse, get the new HDMI port installed properly, and then we will come back and have a bit of a test. Right, so that is F7002 replaced. Now, if I add some power, we can see we have got five volts on both sides of the fuse, which is great. However, we're not outputting anything from the 
that actual circuit, right? I think this should be uh, 1.8 volts uh, on this EDM020 board. Uh, and it's not actually outputting any voltage for us along here. So normally when that happens is this little power regulator I see here that needs replacing. So what we'll do, we'll try and give that a replace and see what we get. Yes, yeah, so we've got the five volts going in, but then nothing coming out, unfortunately. Nope, nothing at all. It's the same if you press the power button or not. Right, let's, uh, let's get this IC replaced. Right, so with that power IC replaced, let's come back in with our probes. Again, let's just check the input, which is five volts. And then we will check what we've got up here. There we go, 1.8 volts. Uh, which was missing previously. Yep, 1.8. We should have 3.3 over here somewhere. Yep, 3.3. And then obviously the input is the 5 volts. Good. Right. So let's uh, get this put back together and see if we get any power. Right. That's everything put back together. I have already tested this, but let's just show it on camera. Give it a bit of power, push the power button, and then the console starts booting. There we go. And we've got a disc inside as well, which is good. So there you go, real quick video, just to show you how to repair a issue when you've got no power and going through the whole diagnosis of that. Uh, this uh, console had obviously been worked on previously, as you could see, it's also had the HDMI port, which had been uh, attempted to be replaced. Uh, we replaced that correctly. Um, and uh, the power circuit on that, that power IC uh, had actually blown as well, so we replaced that as well. So quick video, just kind of showing you how we diagnose no power issues on a PlayStation Fives. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. We are posting videos every week now, so we really do appreciate if you subscribe. It's just a couple of clicks from you and it means the world to us. So thank you if you do subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Anyhow, that's it for this week. Take care of yourselves. See you again soon. Bye-bye.